So you might remember in my last video, we kind of hid a beefsteak mushroom. Um, it was only about this big, it was too small for me to forage. Um, so I wanted to give it like a week until I came back and I built it a little den made out of wooden sticks in the hope that no one else would see it. So um, I've just come back to the woods today and I'm gonna have a look for it and fingers crossed it's still there. Okay, I found the den. Oh, okay. And it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's looking good. It's a bit bigger, not loads bigger, but that's still really nice and firm and kind of perfect. Oh, I don't know whether to, I don't know whether to give it a few days or take it now. So I've decided what I'm gonna do is keep walking through the woods and see if I can find more beefsteak mushrooms um, because I think I want one that's a little bit bigger. I've got to go over here now. I am so happy I followed my instinct because I've just come across this tree and it is absolutely covered in beefsteak mushrooms and they are much bigger than that little guy that I had built a den for. <laughs> But um, yeah, let's take a look. So here we have the perfect beefsteak mushroom, a wonderful edible mushroom that can be found grown from August to November on oak or sweet chestnut trees. The beefsteak mushroom begins its life as a red velvety uneven ball, which will grow and flatten with age until it forms a bracket. The velvety red cap will become slimy and the underside will develop a soft yellow sponge-like surface. The underside will bruise red when handled. If you cut through the mushroom, it will be fleshy inside, pink to red with white marbling and slightly juicy. Beefsteak fungus is a beginner-friendly mushroom with no close lookalikes, but make sure to harvest it in its prime. As it gets older, it will begin to degrade and get squishy like this. To harvest, simply cut the mushroom where it's sprouting from the tree and make sure to only ever take what you need. I am super happy with this beefsteak mushroom. He's just perfect. He's the perfect size, the perfect firmness. The little guy we saw before, I didn't want to take him because he was still so small. This is the exact size that I'm looking for when I'm harvesting beefsteak mushrooms. And some people like them younger than this, um, but for me, this is perfect. So we're gonna take him home and we're gonna do some cooking, I guess. I think what's on my mind, so you can have him raw. He's one of the only um, wild mushrooms that you can eat raw. So generally with wild mushrooms, even in the book, if it says edible, it means edible when cooked. Um, beefsteak mushroom though is lovely raw. So you can have it sliced in salads, you can make kind of carpaccios, but I really like trying to make it a bit more meaty so the flavor just on its own is quite lemony like it's a little bit acrid people describe it as so a little bit sour um and just a bit mushroomy but it's called a beefsteak fungus you've got to make it taste like a beefsteak so we're going to marinate it in loads of kind of umami flavors and make it kind of taste really beefy um and I'm, i feel like a steak sandwich i feel like a mushroom steak sandwich so let's go back to the kitchen
I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but this is so good. So this little mushroom steak, I'm gonna I want to I'm gonna just try a bit so you can see what the inside's like. But it is so good. The kind of lemony taste just gives it a real tang. And because we've marinated it in kind of umami flavors and um, some sweet as well, it just really balances out. And the texture of it is so, so good. Caramelized around the edges and then like just soft and melt in your mouth in the middle. So I, I honestly can't recommend this recipe enough. If you find some beefsteak mushroom, make this. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I so hope you had a good time. Um, let me know in the comments if you have found a beefsteak mushroom before and what you did with it. And um, yeah, subscribe if you like and I'll see you next time.